Hey guys, Nunufix here. So today I got here a BMW 116D uh, 2 liter diesel. Uh, the problem this car have is a fuel pump. So the fuel pump start breaking and it let uh, metal fillings to go to the injectors. So now the injectors they blocked. So I will open them and clean them up. So I will do a video uh, to show you how to do it. That's an easy job to do. Because some people they say, oh, replace the injectors. You don't really need. You just have to take apart and clean all the fillings. I did this in a in a Renault Clio, and actually did work well. And I did in a Peugeot as well, 1.6 diesel. Sorry, I didn't make any videos for that, but this one I will do. So I I start take the car apart. So like you can see, the fuel rail is already on the floor. I have to clean that one as well. So now I have to take the manifold out and to get access to the pump. This is a very restricted access. It's not very easy to take this pump out, but I will show you the best way you can do to take this pump out, okay? So what did happen if this car is, is only uh, 77,000 miles on the clock? And the problem was all the time it was cutting out. So I tried to drive this car to my house to be repaired. And what happened? The first world about I went, it died. So for start, he struggled to start, then he eventually it starts. And then in the second world about he died, he didn't start anymore. So I just leave it, I push to the side of the road and the next day I get my Audi and I recover it to home. Um, so now he's inside the garage, so I will start do some repairs. So I charge the battery, so now he's all charged. So he's all the bits in here and if I will show you in the back, the battery is in the back. So I did charge today and it should be all fine now, fully charged. But of course before I have to fix the car, I will pick up the pump from Euro Car Parts. Uh, so the pump costs 664 pounds. Ouch, that's quite a lot for a fuel pump. It's a, it's a BMW, so it's expensive. But I believe it was some issue as well if the filter, when somebody changed the fuel filter, of course the pump started breaking, but I, oh, I believe somebody put petrol on it. Because the diesels, they lubricate the injectors on the pump, so the petrol, they don't. They don't so... That's why I think the issue was, the lady claims she didn't do it, but because she have a petrol car, I believe she did. So, okay, I will make another video, put attached to this one, and then we will see how the pump will come out. I have to wait for a tool anyway, because I don't have a tool to do this. Uh, it's a special tool to hold the bracket inside, where the chain works, and for don't drop, so don't go down or maybe go out of alignment. So I need this tool first, I should get today or tomorrow. And then I will go ahead and show to you how to take the pump off. Okay, so stay tuned. Thank you. Right, I just was checking in here and I think this is very bad. Even in a Renault Clio when I fixed the injectors, I never see this before. This is very bad. Very. I don't know how blocked that injectors is. I'm very concerned about this. But we will see how how this will go. So this is the state of the car moment and well we just will try to save money to the lady but if I will find out the injectors is that uh, I just have to replace them there's nothing else I can do um, and this pump have to come out today I need to receive the, the tool and we will see what we will do uh, well 77,000 miles and the car is already like this. That's a little bit concerned. This is a German quality. It should be good. Uh, but of course, if somebody put petrol on it and damage all the fuel system. Uh, but I'm not too much happy about this. It's, it is a lot. This is a lot. I never see that. In a Renault Clio, you can see some, but not like this. And all this silver, silver thing come from somewhere. I don't know if it's from inside the pump, but but the metal things you can see shining. So okay, so tonight I will do a video about injectors, how to open them and clean them, and tomorrow I'll pick up a new pump. And I hope Saturday. So today is for, uh, Thursday. So I hope Saturday we can make this car running. Okay, so stay tuned. Cheers. Nuno fix again. Right, so I will show you something in here. This is quite tricky to do, I tell you what. I'm very sorry I don't film this when I'm doing, but this is a nightmare. So, this is the bolt 
holds the pump in the same bracket. Okay, so it's all in the back in there. All right, so for undo this, of course, you will need a special tool. Uh, let's say, is this one in here? A e, E14. So, like you can see, the top of the bolt. Right. So, you got a cap first, you have to take this cap out. Yeah. And the only problem I found is while I try undo the bolt, the, the crank is spinning. Yeah. So, what I have to do, this is not dangerous if you do this, just don't do too strong. Just a little bit of force, it should come out eventually. If you hold this alternator bolt, if this tool, and uh, it should hold the crank in place and then you just undo very slow and it just come out very easy okay because it's a little bit tight of course for you don't come out if the high speeds from the engine right so the pump is ready to come out just i need to take two bolts one in the top and one in the bottom the problem is i can take off yet because i need a tool now i will show you something this is metal things i don't know if you can see that metal from the pump this is all inside the rail this all dark thing oh, much better so now i don't know if you can see shining i go to the sun i don't know if you can see see this is all inside the rail so this means this pump was very bad so it was breaking for a long time. Like I said, I believe this was petrol on the car, so that's why the pump gone 77,000 miles. You can see the the shining and the silver thing. I don't know where this come from. All inside the rail. So I cleaned the rail and put inside the bag, wrap with paper, so it's clean now. I use lots of spray. Uh, this is a intake or carburet cleaner, should be all right. So now what I have to do is just take the pump out and tonight, I will make a video how to open the injectors. The injectors is very easy, so you just have to take this bottom bit out and unblock the the end of the injector because it's very small holes. So I believe this is all blocked. I mark the injectors anyway, so this is number four, so I know the position they go. But even if I have to program them back, I got machine. I'm not worried about this. But for who don't have, it's a good idea you mark them, okay? In case if I need to replace them, I don't know if the circuit is damaged, but I don't think they are. So what I have to do is just clean them, open, clean them, and then put back together, and this should be all right to run. But first of all, I have to change the pump. So tomorrow I will collect the pump, and I won't take this one out first for exchange for another one, otherwise I have to pay 116 pounds, and that's not worth it. Okay, so I will back to you when I got the pump, the tool for take the pump. And actually, I will make a clip how the pump will come off, okay? So don't worry about this. See you in a minute. Hello, guys. So Nuno Fix again. Right, so what I will do in here, I will open the injector, and then you will see how we can open this. Uh, this is very easy. So I don't have gloves for now, but it doesn't matter. So let's start from this one. Uh, this one is marked, so it's the number four in here. Uh, in here, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit dark, sorry about that, but that's the light I got. The days is a little bit darker now, it's not good weather in here in England. So, to open this, that's a straightforward job. Uh, what I will use is this, so this clamp in here. Okay, now I need the 15 spanner. So if I grab in here, you can see some um, special place for post spanner on it. Don't worry about the washer because this is going to be in. I have new ones to put in the car. So what we have to do, you have to be very strong in this because that's very tight from factory. So if I will put in a table like this, actually this one wasn't too bad. So like you can see, that's it. So very slow. Because there's lots of bits inside, in here, some pieces. Okay, so I want to take this off first. Okay, there you go. You can see these all come out. So this is the cap. There is the fuel thing. So you got a cap here in the top of the needle, goes inside. 
So just make sure you put the things in order. So that one goes in here. That one's stuck in there. This is a big, big injector. So if I take this bit out from the top, you will have a very big needle here in the middle. And it, I tell you what, it smell diesel. I smell kind of petrol as well. I believe this was petrol inside the car. Right, so the thing is, now I have to get a way to remove this bit out. Of course the clear was more easier. But that one, I just have this cup in here. So if I can, that will be tricky. So that, like you can see, something in the middle, I have to get this off. Um, I will try to take off. Right, so don't worry because this will come out, but I guess I don't really know how it come off, but it shouldn't come off. It should come off. I have to be careful otherwise the phone will drop. Uh right, okay, so I have to still have a look in here. So this what I will try to do here now, so you will see, I will grab something old and just wait a second. I need to grab something. Ah, I think somebody will kill me because I'm just using this stuff from the kitchen, but that doesn't matter. I just take to the garage and keep it for use. So what I will do, I will tight this pipe in injector. See, and there's a spring come out as well. Oh, that's good. So like you can see, and there's a washer as well. So let's say we have to order this up. So this is goes like that. Then the spring goes, and then this small washer. This is a washer. So it doesn't matter each way you put because it's the same that all the sides. So like you can see, nothing else come out. So that's good, don't forget. So this is how it goes, all right? So I will tie this now. And what I will do, like I did with the Clio, is I will put now a spray carburetor cleaner on this pipe, okay? And tight and just press it. Well, I think maybe we'll go from this side, so I will go like that. Like you can see. So it goes straight to the bottom, okay? And then this is another is another hole in here. That one, that one will back to the top. So if I go upside down, or maybe even try like that, just put the spray in here. Try hold the pressure. This is very tricky to do. You can see. It comes from the hole. Even if something else come out, even more stuff come out. That's a that's brilliant. Oh yeah. Okay. So forgot because this comes from here. Okay. So you can see from here and from here. So we know where these bits come from. Just put in here. Okay. So now you can see. I can take this off now. And reverse the procedure. So. Yeah, that, that, that's tricky, you know, if you not feel comfortable to do this, I recommend you don't do it, okay? Because this, this is not easy how some people think can be. So you can see, I can see a little bit silver thing come out. So that, that means this injector have lots of shit inside. Sorry to say this word, but lots of rubbish. That's better. See, that, that's dirty injector, it is very dirty. I'm not too much happy with this. Like you can see, look, this is all the dirt come from inside and the black piece, pieces. Um, 
Right. I will try a little bit more from the top because this is the way I'm doing before. You just keep pumping. This is stink, so my liver room will stink a little bit. But I will open the, the window in a minute and wrap this around so tonight I can carry on because I have to go work in a minute. My, the car is not my only job. Okay. Well, that, that, that thing in the top, I should have something to make pressure on it. But again, when I start the car, I don't will put the, um, the return pipes, I will put bottles. So then we can check the leak. It should be all right after that. So like you can see, the diesel, it come out, the, the diesel, well, the spray come out freely. So I think that should be all right. Only I'm a little bit concerned about this one now, because I have to take this one apart. And this opens, that's nice, okay. So even if I do that. I think this injector now is fine, okay? So I don't see all the dirt is here. Okay, so now I'm more concerned about this. How I will take this off? I don't have nails. Just maybe I have to grab this piece in here. This way. Undo it. Yeah, that will be tricky. I have to see a way to take it because the Clio and the Peugeot, you have a little bit of bit out. You just can push it. But this one looks like we have to come with a plan B. So this means this is blocked. Yeah, it goes everywhere, the bloody spray. Right, so... Yeah, that's tricky. Thing is, I don't know if I can grab um, a knife and try pull it out. I don't want to damage the, the surface. Okay, so I will use the plastic thing. Wait a minute, I think I can grab something from somewhere. Like I said, uh, I think because I have to go work, I will make a video tonight again, and then we start from the beginning. Now I'm just looking if I can get something to pull it out. Let's see if this will work. It's a plastic thing for mobile phones, but I don't think this will work either. Okay, so we will back tonight. Yeah, I just leave this in here. And then cover everything and just leave it. Okay, so tonight I will carry on and then I will show you how to take this bit out because actually I don't know really how it come off. Okay, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. Hello folks again, right so we have big problem in here so we got already two injectors the nozzle um, how I can say the nozzle is frozen so it don't come out um, so what I will is nothing else I can do so this I try everything and this don't come out 
So the only solution now we have is just put everything back and I will try get some new nozzles for this. Uh, well, now close to Christmas, this will take a while. Uh, but well, there's nothing else I can do. So I will put all together, probably speak with the owner and get four new injectors. Because I don't think the, this, 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 this pump was very bad, very bad. This pump damaged all the fuel system and now is it's nothing else we can do about this. I will try another two injectors and we will see how it goes. I guess we'll put this all together. Oh, working gloves is a problem. Just leave it. Right, so this one is dead. Nothing we can do. So we have to get another one. Because this one already I was working in. It looks like new. This one is in good condition outside and I it's clean already. But you can see it's very clean. I clean everything. Um, but again, that's the same story. Oh well, sometimes everything don't go how we plan. No problem, we tried another one. We will see how it goes. It's very windy today, the noise you can hear is the wind. It's very windy where I live today. And the thing is, I'm more concerned, I have to call to the lady, the owner from the car. I said to her, tomorrow you will have the car back. But, of course the injectors, they that they that. So I need to call her boyfriend as well, well, husband, I mean. So, if I explain to him the situation. Okay. So I just put all back. They died, nothing I can do. We have two more to go, so we will try another one. So just close that so we can have more light there. Okay, so round two. Let's try open this one. And let's see if this one will be easier. So again, I will use this tool. I don't have much space in here, you know, so I film if the tripod and make the video is quite tricky. Okay, so like before, just hold. <sighs> Again, I have to go on the floor to do that. <sighs> Trust me, on the floor is more easier. Because they're very tight. See? Oh, they come. The thing is, there's lots of carbon on it. Okay. Now, you will see this one then. The car do not start anyway. He starts before but then dies, and I believe lots of metal go. Uh, metal, what the hell? Uh, metal go inside the. The, no the nozzle. Right, that's another one. Take it very slow. Well, I have a fly here. Okay. Two pieces in? No, something missing. That's it. Right, moment of truth. Just we'll try the. I can't believe in that. I can't believe in that. They are all the same.
they all the same. Ah, ah. Well, you want to go out this one? Oh, uh, that's it. That one come out. Brilliant. Because even he's a little bit rough. Look at that. You can feel, look. It shouldn't be like that. Right. That's good then. So like you can see, that one is fine. So we got two issues. I don't know if in the scrapyard I will find some injectors only take the tip out. So what I have to do now is just clean this injector. So this is what I will do now. I'm a little bit happy then. So one injector finally helped me out. So again, we will do like before. We'll spray lots of liquid in here. Like you can see. And there's lots of rubbish in there. This one is very good actually. The needle inside just come forward. So that's good. That's good. See, have a look. See? So that's good. I think this one will be a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Not so good. The other ones, they're not working right. No metal inside, just a little bit of black thing, but I'm very happy with this one. Can't wait for put this one together and then see. This should be alright. Okay. So I have to clean the nozzle now. So I have to sort out why that piece is so rough, but I got something to clean that. Wire brush, let's say, not a strong one. So now I have to see in here, I don't think you can see, but let's try. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five holes, they all open. That's good. Aye. This injector will be a winner. Wow, the weather today, uh, very bad. So we put something else in there. So, I hope you enjoy it.
like to put this part now here so keep everything clean and out of rubbish because this injector is good and I don't want to damage that make sure everything this go here and the washer here okay just let soak there you can see the dirt inside the injector this never never can work right somebody try to fix something outside this is quite black Is the color like that? It shouldn't be in it. That should be clear. Sorry, I go out of sync the camera. I can see very well what's happening in the phone. I see. I see already this in some injectors. Some of them they very black inside. Like this is very dark, and other ones is clear, so that's still that's still not go right. Right. Keep going. coming out so this is I think carbon or something I have no idea it's, it's not very good for the injector is it Seems better, but it's still stuck, so I need the help from the magnet, then it come out. Right, so what I have to do, just scrape a little bit more. The time goes so quick, you know, when you work in a car, or when you are at work, no, it goes very slow, but when you work in a car, this is the time flying. The thing is, the other ones, they're very hard, I think. It's something happened inside. I try to heat them, but they don't come out. So I think it's metal on it. If they will be black like this, a big amount around the, the shaft here, I think we will have a problem for this come out. That's why probably I need new nozzles. Mm-hmm. Still don't come out easy. I guess I have to take the gloves out. I can't work in gloves. Last night I tried to do this in the living room, but my girlfriend started complaining. Oh, it's so strong smell. Of course, the carburetor cleaner is a very strong smell. So I not recommend really you do this at home. So that's why I'm in the garage now. And just do the garage. Right. Yes, so I can take freely out. You just drag a little bit, but let's try 
on in. Well, now I can take it off, but if you put a magnet, it comes out. So that's good. And I think this injector will be all right after work for a while. Let's try again. Yes, so there it goes. Okay, so I think this one is a winner. So what I will do, clean all parts and just put all together. And another one is exactly the same procedure, so I don't have to film about all of them. So you have idea, but please be careful because it's not an easy task, special when they're too tight to open them. And that's a nightmare, okay? So if you not feel confident, just ask somebody else to do it. Trust me, this, this is not easy. It sounds easy, but well, for me it is. But if you are good with spanning and stuff like that, so it should be all right. So I have a good feeling this injector will be good. I, I feel sorry for the other two, but I don't think I will give up. I will try tonight again. I need to take that nozzle out. I need. I like to give a second, a second chance to the parts. What I will do here is a quick clean on this. Oops, that goes everywhere. No problem. It's a garage. Sure. Not really matter. Sorry. Very sorry. I think some people will come and will say, hey, all the time out of sync, we can't see you. I know, sorry about that. Okay, so we can use only normal spanner now and tight much you can you don't have to be crazy just do like you can do some force till you can get more that's it you know will come out so this means this is one injector ready to work and i guarantee to you this will be very good i done this before and worked great but the the renault ones they're more easier to do that pin is inside. In a Renault, they have a little bit a uh, thin pin outside. Even if they stuck, you can get um, um, what they call pliers and then just twist it small, slow and push it out. It will come out eventually. This one is a problem. So, but this one, I tell you now what I will do with this one. Because this one is ready. I will wrap on a paper and put in the boot of the car. Or no dirt going. Seems good to me. I'm very happy with that one. Okay. The thing is, the garage they did say to the owner of this car, he will need two injectors. I don't know if really. They try to do this what I'm doing. This injector will be easy to open. Look how new. It looks like he was putting in a car new, isn't it? Have a look. I don't know if they did. The owner didn't say nothing to me, but I believe they did. But that doesn't matter because I will open them. Let me empty this. This is very dirty. So this is the number three injector. This is clean in here, so it stays like that. This one I will put some more liquid. It's quite cold, you know, this is very cold liquid. Right, okay, so I will try this spanner. So Let's try to do here in the table so you all can watch. Now you 
just chomping that. I want to look clear. Right, I think this one has to go on the floor as well, okay? I'm very sorry about that. But that, that things they're not easy to come out. They're not. So, just I will move a little bit of camera, and then you will see how I'm doing. So, it's easier like that. That's very easy. Right, so you can see well. Yeah, you can see. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, but I think she'll be all right. So this one looks like new, guys. That's the same procedure. That's like that, that injector is like new guys. I, I tell you what, it is. This injector is is brilliant. Well I think it was only that another two stop working so the car don't start anymore. It, if you have one injector it will start, but if you have two injectors failing, I think it will be a game over for the car. So like, like I said, it's like new injector, but it looks like. So like you can see, this one's stuck. Right, so we will try the magic tool, port tool. It's more broken than alive. So I will straight this. This was my girlfriend, my brown thing, but not anymore. Right, so we have another problem here. Don't tell me it's only one injector will be alive. Perhaps I have to get a better tool to take this off. The thing is I don't see nobody in the YouTube using a special tool for this. Because this should come out quicker. It's not. Hmm. Again. That will be another failure. I think I will stop this video before now because you see already. But this one seems turning inside, but it do not come out. Because, see, you can see, it's moving, but I'm not sure if the. No, the middle thing is still. I try grab this very strong if the um, pliers and then turning. Of course, I can tight match because it will jump. Okay, I think we have another problem here. Well guys, that's the thing, it's nothing else to show here. So you see already how one injector went through, all right? Looks like we have three dead. Um, of course, now I have to get this bit. And the code for this is DLLA 160P 1650+. Plus. Uh, of course, I got some from a Corsa, but they different the value, and I think they're more thicker. I don't think they will work well if this injector. 
They could do, but I, I don't want to try because it will be a hassle to take everything off again. And that's the thing. This, if I have something good to grab this, it, even if you have a cut in the middle, I can twist it. But I don't have nothing to make a cut, and I think the injector will be damaged anyway because we shouldn't cut nothing in the injector. Um, so, yeah. Well, folks, that's it. So the next video will be take the pump out from the BMW, okay? I don't receive the tool yet. It should come today, okay? Well, but this is what you, have, you will come across if you work in injectors. So the Clio, they got a lip come outside, you know? So you can grab with the pliers and twist it and push it out. So that's easier. But if this one's, I don't know if he's any any idea to take this off. I'm not familiar with this. But, well, that's the thing. There's nothing else I can do. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video. I will put all videos attached in one video anyway. So you know, it makes sense. You go for part one, part two, part three. It will be a little bit long, but I think it's interesting to watch. Okay, thank you for watching. So I see you soon. Bye. Hello, folks. Right, so I got good news. So, like you see before in a previous video uh, or clip, um, I got a problem. Um, the needle was stuck in a tip. But, da -da -da -da, I did take off. And I will explain you how I did this. So... I took to the factory where I work and we try compress air and everything, but nothing didn't work. So what I did is, oh, let me see if I can find the thing, I think I just previously, oh, okay, that's it, so this is the magnet, yeah, so this wasn't working in the beginning, so what I was doing, when I back home, I just try in other ways to take it out, uh, because this wasn't born inside the injector, okay, this, this was put together okay in the factory so what I was doing uh, I grabbed this I will show you what I did I just soak in here for clean because there's lots of metal in it. and then in the edges very slow first in the middle I was tapping like that in the middle like this then I see the needle move a little bit up and I said okay wait a second this will work then I start tap and turning around turning 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 and a little bit a little bit stronger, not too strong for the damage the, um, the tip, but just heat, yeah? And then eventually start coming out. So it come out enough or I pull with the finger and take it off. So I'm very happy with the result, very happy. So I take all out. So the lady is happy as well because she was concerned by three injectors because one was all right. So that's good. So now we'll put another injector together. And the car is almost done. So, this is like before, so I will teach you, I will show you, no teach you, sorry, show you. Okay, so this so far so good, it's good in here. I clean everything, so now, let's take the tip and the needle. Just I will dry this, everything. This, this material, the air intake carburetor, is very cold. You touch, you feel a very cold temperature. So this is the tip. So I was cleaning already. Okay. So I will make only this short clip and then the other ones I don't have to do again. So yeah, it's still it's still hard, you know, it's still hard. I think probably something in there I need to clean. So I will grab any tool like this and just put in. Because it will be nice if I have like a brush, a small brush, so then I can. can just clean of course after the injector being placed and start the car this should be all right but then if this only will be more oh 
Okay, so I put all in. Like you can see, it comes along. So that's good. I will do again. So it's soft. Go all in. Magnet and out. This is how really you want this happen, you know? So this should be soft. Well, let's say not very loose, but just a little bit resistant and is easy to take it off. Okay, so I will do again. So go in. Well, like you can see now is little it start to be a little bit rough. Okay, so all in, magnet, out. There it is. I just will polish a little bit more around and this injector should be fine like the other one is. Okay, so you see already before I put injector together. So I don't have to carry on in this video. I will show you another part. So just I will polish this with a wire brush and just do very hard, more hard than you can for take all the rubbish in. And this should be fine. Okay, so just wait for the next clip then. So I believe the next clip now will be when I fit them in a car. And of course I will film how you take the pump out i still don't have the tool i don't know why should arrive today and this car have to start running tomorrow so this car have to go away from my garage because it's christmas i don't will work anymore in cars only next year okay so we will come back when i will have the tool hello right so this will be the the part one so this is the last clip to show you what's happening here i didn't take the pump yet because i received the the wrong tool I will show you what tool I got. So this tool in here, I give the wrench to the guy, but for some reason I think he messed up. So this is the tool, what I should use in this car, but this one is for another kind of engines. I believe like three, three liter ones. Um, so the another tool now I bought is similar to this, but it's a little bit thinner. And what this tool does is just um, goes in a sprocket where the chain works and then he he, he makes this the sprocket very tight to the the cover so then you can pull the the pump in another way around safely and nothing will happen if the timing everything will be fine but of course in a part two i will show you how this will be done so now i can really show you sorry about the mess but my god that is really a mess so now i will tell you what happened if this pump so I take the pump a little bit apart just for shake inside what's happened and I will show you something this is one part works in a pump okay so this is like that and it works in a wheel what is inside for pressure the fuel uh, Right, so, so far so good in here, you can see a little bit, still goes away, see? So not, not a big issue in this side, so it's a little bit wear, but now have a look. Look at that. So now we know where the old metal come from, you see? This should be like a, a flat cylinder or a flat wheel, what you want to call this. Look at this side. That's why the car don't start. I'm not surprised with that. That's bad. So this is garbage. No, let's say rubbish. That's why I need a tool for remove the pump, take the pump to Euro car parts for exchange for another one because they want the old one back which stinks a diesel so now we have to wait so now we find out what was causing the problem and now in here I put already the injectors back like you can see the injectors they are in place they should be alright to work this is the fuel regulator now I did clean this but this was covered of metal even you can see some bits, see? Ah, shining in the top. Still some bits on it, but this was covered 
Look, you can see more in there. Look at that. So even try to start a car now if this pump will be a killer for the injectors again. So okay. So this is for will be the end of the part one. So when I will get the tool, I will start filming again and stay tuned for the part two. Okay, please any questions you have, can you comment below? If you like this video, put a thumbs up. If you don't like, you can put a thumbs down and just write a comment, say why, why you don't like the video so the next time I can improve. Okay? Wait a minute. I forgot to show you something during the video. I can't finish, finalize this video, put in a YouTube, because I know some people, they will comment back and say something after I show the pump how damaged it was. Okay. He cleaned the end of the injectors. Why you don't clean the top? Yes, I did clean the top, but I need to include in a video. After I watch the pump, I take the all injectors that the top again and the bottom and I did clean. But I will show you now. This is an injector similar injector, the BMW, but this one is from a Corsa diesel. Uh, they similar, only this one is more smaller. So I will show you how to do that, okay? But of course, yes, you're right. You have to clean the top as well because it was lots of metal in a spring in here. This one don't will have any because the, the pump of this Corsa was good. So I just saved this injectors for stock. I have this maybe five years. I don't think this work, but I will show you. Yes, you're right. So I will show you what I did. The first thing before, so you have to, you can see in here. So this is, was the bit I show you in the video. I take it off. Okay. And this is the top bit. Okay, so this is like you can see the thread in here, so this will come off from the top. This is the electric bit, solenoid from the injector. Before you take this apart, something very interesting to do. So you can just take this and take it off and then you don't will remember the position of the connector and the position where the, the pipe is. If you put this in the same side, it will have problems if the wiring and something else. Okay, so the wire, the, wheel, the connector don't will fit very well in the top of this. So it will be a mess. Okay, so before you remove, I recommend you do this. The side of the injector, like you can see, yeah, just mark in here. Even if you want, you can mark here and then you can mark here. So then you know where the injector should line up. Okay. So even you can use this to reference for the tightness, okay? So when you, sorry about the noise. When you tight and you see it's online, stop. It should be all right, okay? Don't tight more. You're over tightening because you will broke this. Now to take it off, this is more easy to take this nut off than this one in the bottom off. Trust me, that's much easier. This pliers, so I just hold this in place. And do this a little bit tight. There you go. So this one is tight. Now you can use a big spanner if you got. I got one somewhere, but I don't know where it is because my garage is a mess. Two pliers, so I will use this one on the top. Done. Okay. So now just see I've twisted anti-clockwise, like you can see. Very strong. There you go. See? And this is a little bit rusty injector. This was long time in here, five years, I think. I changed the engine in one course. So, and I just keep them, I don't know for what. So you can take the clamp off. Now, very slow, see? These all come out. So I, we just put like that. Like you can see, this spring is very rusty. I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit dark. I think I have to change the, the light in the garage, but like you can see, so this spring was covered of metal on four injectors okay so let's say if i don't will do this in injectors it will be a waste of time it don't will damage the new pump but it will block the injectors again but even like i said before i don't know if he's in the video but i think i did say this but i don't know if i cut off or not i don't will connect the injectors directly to the fuel rail to the uh, the return pipe i will put four bottles and then we will see the leak from the, each injector, if it's okay, if, it's, if they leak much or well, how they behave for make sure they're working fine. So that's the thing you have to take this. You will need a special tool to remove. Well, the thing is, let me see if I can take this off and then I can show you what's happening in the bottom. 
is a little bit of washer in here. Okay. I think it's quite dark, but you can see the picture. See? So when I take the washer, see, it's a small clip. And then this come all. Okay. A small wheel. Like you can see, it's lots of rubbish in here in this injector, but anyway, this is for going to bin in one day. And I didn't take nothing else further. I just put lots of liquid in here and the liquid come down from this side. And of course, if I have a special tool to take this uh, big needle out, it will be brilliant. But the thing is, I have to change the seals inside. So if I, if I go too further, I think I will damage the injector. I will need new parts. The thing is, we will see how this will be behave after I fit the new pump in the car, okay? So just for show you how you do that, okay? So for put back, that's easy. You just push back this wheel, put the locking nut. It's quite tricky, so look, I, I hope you see this well, because it's a little bit dark in here. I think you can see. Yeah, you can see. Okay? Then, the cup. Don't forget when you take the stuff off, make pictures for a reference for you know how it goes. So then is the spring on the top. This is the metal thing. Of course, this is not clean. Don't worry. This is a, a injector for going to be in. So you just have to line the hole to the spring. See, so now you can start tight. Like you can see the nut is turning, but the head no. So the head you can adjust. Okay. And keep turning. Okay, so you're turning, you're turning, you see? So I'm in a limit now. So just turn. And now grab the, the pliers again. Try keep this head in place. See? You see like, like what will happen i will show you now it's almost tight but this is out of alignment see this is what you have to keep this on alignment so what i have to do again this is for show you how it works undo the injector even it can be like this so this is tricky to do if you can use two people it will be easier okay so now because it's a little bit resistance in here when I turn the nut, this will come together. And I will show you. And this clamp sometimes they get loose. To tie that up. Okay, so sorry about that. I think this is a very bad angle. So tight again. That's the thing, is is not easy. Okay, that's it. Now should do. Like you see, still light out of alignment because the tool did jump. Okay, so try again. Just make sure if you can do this in the first time, otherwise you will damage the injector going back and forth. Like you can see, is alignment. Okay, just try keep this aligned all the time when you're turning this nut, for avoid you damage the thread. So it's a little bit tricky to do, but probably you need a second person for help you hold this in place, and then you can tie this up. If a vice, I think will be easier. Okay, so and this is very stuck. Now. Aha. This is how you clean the injectors after you have a, a failure pump. So you have to clean the needles, clean all the bottom, take the top off as well. Try clean the maximum you can inside for see the injector work perfect again. Of course, it will like brand new, but I'm sure it will running fine. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, I will do the part two. So stay tuned for the part two. And the part two, we will see how the pump go out, how the pump go in. 
and put the car all together and start the car for the first time. Of course, I will change the fuel filter as well. Okay, so stay tuned and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. And now put this injector where it belongs to, in a trash can. Oh, I don't have a trash can. Oh well, so I think I'll just leave it in an old toolbox for something else. Bye.